Welcome to another day with Jesus. The power is where it's always been. The Word of God is alive. You are listening to challenging devotions and heart-inspiring conversations with Pastor Prigi and Rajmi Varghese. Visit www.pastorprigi.com for more resources. Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. Let me begin this morning with a particular scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. It says, For who do you know that really knows you, knows your heart? And even if they did, is there anything that they would discover in you that you could take credit for? Isn't everything that you have and everything that you are sheer gifts from God? So what's the point of all this comparing and competing? You already have all you need. You already have more access to God than what you can handle. Without bringing either Apollos or me into it, you're sitting on top of the world, at least God's world. And we are right there sitting alongside you. Somebody said a loud amen to that. I I, I believe that is my life. I believe that is your life. I believe that is what God has bestowed upon us. God has not given us an ordinary kind of life. God has given us a life which is extraordinary. If we can only believe that, if we can trust him on that, if we can just say, hey, God, we, we know that this is true about me. This is true about my life. This is true about what you're doing through me in this season. And we, if we, if we look back into the last one week of our life, we'll have so many reasons to thank God for, you know, as even as we enter into a new week. Just look back and and just thank God for everything that has happened in your life. Good, bad, ugly, and and the awesome things that has happened. You know, if you could just remain indebted to God and say, God, it's all because of you. It's all because of your grace. It's all because of your mercy that I have experienced what I have experienced in my life. And, and and also have a fresh revelation of this thing that Jesus, that the word of God says, you already have all that you need. You have more access to God that you can, than you can handle. You know, and, and he goes on to say, hey, guys, without me or Apollos, you know, this is Paul writing this, he's saying, even without me and Apollos coming in the picture, you're still sitting on top of the world. You know, when you have God, you are sitting on top of the world. When you have God, it doesn't matter if you're in the prison. It doesn't matter if you're in the palace. It doesn't matter if you're in a debt. It doesn't matter if you are sick on, in the hospital bed. It doesn't matter where you are. You are on top of the world. That sickness doesn't have authority over you. That that debt doesn't have authority over you. Instead, you have authority over your circumstances. You have authority over the mm, over the things the enemy throws at you. You have authority in, in, in the name name of Jesus in the power that God has bestowed upon you you have authority in fact Jesus goes on to say that all authority on heaven and on earth has been given to me in in Matthew 28 19 and, and then he goes on to say in Luke 10 19 I have given you that authority you know every authority that has been given to Jesus Jesus has now transferred it to us so if Jesus has authority over the finances, then you have authority over your finances. If Jesus has authority over life and death, then you have authority over the life and death. If Jesus has authority over the government of this world, then you, when you open your mouth and when you speak out loud, then you have authority over the government. Can you imagine that the message translation actually says you have more access to God than you can actually handle in this lifetime? And, and if we can only believe that, friends, if we can take that seriously, and if we can just say, God, I, I don't care how my life looks like today, but I'm, but I'm just going to enjoy what you're doing in my life today. I'm just going to celebrate you. I'm just going to be thankful to you. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let my circumstances dictate my joy. Instead, my joy is going to dictate my circumstances. I'm not going to let people around me tell me how much faith or fear I should have. Instead, I will let my faith dictate how people speak to me, how what, what, what people can, what people are allowed 
allowed to talk to me about. I will not let my wallet decide how much I should be able to give or how much I should be able to buy. Instead, I let the generosity that is on the inside of me decide how much money I will spend and how much money should there be in my wallet. And as I am generous, I know that my wallet will overflow. And and, and that has to be, it's not a life that is lived from the outside in. It's a life that you live from the inside out. What, what is it that's stopping you from doing that? What is it that is stopping you from living that kind of life? Let me pray with you this morning. Even before you go to church, I'm sure you'll hear an amazing sermon. You'll, you'll be encouraged and edified in church today. But even if before you do that, even before you go there, let me encourage you to, to walk with God. Let me encourage you to trust God. Let me encourage you to have a deep, deep, Trust in the authority and the and the power that God has placed on your life. Father, I speak in the name of Jesus. As I declare this grace upon your children, let there be a, a powerful move of the Holy Spirit that will come upon my friends and, and that they will have a deep encounter with you, Daddy. They will have a deep relationship with you, Master. That every word they speak, let it have a profound impact on the lives of people. That they will have a profound impact on the, on the uh, finances that they have, on their relationship. It will have a profound impact on the... Mm, on the places they walk into, the churches they worship in, the the uh, governments that they represent in every area of every area of the society, every community that they represent, they will have a profound impact because they are on top of God's world. And and I, I speak that boldness and authority to come into their hearts right now. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. And somebody said, Amen with me. God bless you guys. Have a blessed day ahead.